Hey, Bay. What's up, Bay? Yo, remember the other night you made them lamb lollipops and crab cakes? Yeah. Why? What's up? I'm in the mood for that again. Can you make that tonight, please? And throw in the little sides like mac and cheese, asparagus, sweet potatoes, and cabbage. Oh, 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 oh. And make that pineapple mango drink with the champagne like you did last night. Bang. Bay, I... Sure, bae. Love you. I love you, too. See you later. Oh, hell no. He done got me messed up. The kitchen is under construction until further notice. He ain't get the memo. It's about to be a hot girl summer. No, she got a lit. Hot girl summer, so you know she got a lit. No, she got a lit. Hey, guys. So the streets is saying it's about to be a hot girl summer. What y'all think? I think it's about to be a hot girl summer. <laughs> At least very warm. If it's not too hot, it's definitely going to be a very warm girl summer. <laughs> so guys, comment down below and let me know if you're tired of your kitchen. Like, seriously, all 2020, I was in my kitchen. And it was kind of cute in the beginning at first. But then it got very repetitive. And it was just like, okay, now listen. Like, I'm going to need to make a reservation. For me, I wasn't comfortable with ordering takeout. So it was what it was. But it's 2021, I'm seeing the light at the end of the tunnel. And if you're seeing the light, comment down below and hashtag the light because we're trying to have a hot girl summer. We're trying to date this summer. We're trying to wear all our fragrances this summer and some fragrances that are newly released that I'm so excited to wear. So in today's video, I'm going to share with you 10 of my designer fragrances that I'm so super excited to wear this summer. And they're definitely going to aid in me smelling good and having my hot girl summer. So if you want to know what these fragrances are, then just continue to watch. Guys, before we get started with the video, if you're not yet subscribed, please make sure you're subscribed to my channel. Tap the notification bell so you don't miss any of my uploads. Thumbs up this video so I know you like my content. Leave me a comment so we can get to know each other. And now we can get started. So the first fragrance on the list is Perlay by Amo Ferragamo. This is a very fruity, fresh, crisp, sweet, juicy pear, guys. This is the pear that you want to take a bite out of. It's definitely a fresh and a juicy mouth watering type of fragrance. Let me tell you the notes. So there's pear, there's raspberry, magnolia, osmanthus, musk, sandalwood, and cedar. As I said, it's fruity, it's sweet, it's musky, it's fresh. It's also kind of clean at the same time. This is a fragrance that you can wear on a date night. I would definitely wear this fragrance on a date night. This is a brunch fragrance. This is a running around errands fragrance, but it's also special enough that you can take this on a date in the summertime or on a special occasion, hanging out with the girls. Whatever is your summer special occasion, you can wear this fragrance. It's a very pretty scent. It's a very feminine, very classy, very girly type of fragrance. It's a beautiful scent. If I had to put it in a class of a fragrance that I have, like a niche fragrance, I would put this in the category of Delina, the original Delina. Clean, sweet, fruity type of fragrance. So it doesn't smell anything like Delina, but I just want you guys to know that it's definitely one of those type of feminine, flirty, girly type of fragrances. I absolutely love this. And if you purchase this in a gift set, you can get the body cream so you can layer with it. But for me, I have my Elizabeth Arden Honey and Pear body cream that I layer with this fragrance and it is so beautiful, guys. Next, we have this Tarte Fresh Aquatic Watermelon Fragrance by D&G, Three Limb Pear Trees. So guys, I have a little story about this fragrance. So this fragrance was purchased this year. I purchased it from the Sephora VIB sale. This is my second bottle. I purchased my first one on FragranceNet because last year when we were on lockdown, every fragrance reviewer was talking about FragranceNet, how you can get amazing, great deals on fragrances. Because all the stores were closed, I'm like, let me get in on this FragranceNet hype. So I ordered this fragrance from FragranceNet, not this one, because like I said, I got this one from Sephora. But I ordered that first bottle from FragranceNet. Guys, when I opened it and smelled it, I literally almost threw up. It smelled so rancid. It smelled horrible. And I'm like, well, what kind of watermelon is this? <laughs> because I, I'm familiar with watermelon. And I love the way watermelon smells. I'm familiar with kiwi. Kiwi has a fresh, sweet type of scent. I'm just like, what type of fruits are in this fragrance? Because it smelled horrible. So come to find out, I did further investigation. And I felt like my bottle was fake. I've since gotten rid of it because my labels were all jacked up. 
the bottle, it just was not right. And I'm not saying that all fragrances from Fragrance Net aren't authentic, but it was something wrong with that fragrance. It was either super, super old or it just wasn't authentic. Cut to 2021, the VIB sale from Sephora, and I was actually in the store. And I was like, let me revisit this fragrance because this isn't sold everywhere. You can't get this fragrance everywhere. So I was in the store, I sprayed it, and it was just, it was what I expected it to smell like. Beautiful, sweet, but tart and fresh. That's also a way that I know that the one that I got was either super old, I would never put that on my skin. So I'm so happy that I now have this in my collection. And I also have a body lotion that I layer with this. It's from Glow Recipe and it's a watermelon lotion. Guys, it's a beautiful, beautiful, synthetic kind of smelling watermelon, but it's so sweet and it's beautiful. Absolutely love it. It layers amazing with this. So the notes in this fragrance, there's kiwi, there's rhubarb, there's pink pepper, there's watermelon, there's jasmine, there's lemon tree, musk, and sandalwood. Guys, it's not a super long lasting fragrance. It's a very fresh aquatic type of fragrance, like, like I said. It's something that you will have to refresh yourself throughout the day. Oh, I think I sprayed that already. <laughs> you will have to refresh yourself throughout the day. So for me, I just spray heavy i spray on my clothes and i also will decant you know when it's time for me to wear this for like x amount of hours of the day if i'm going out for four to five hours of the day then it's fine i don't need to take a decant but if i'm going out longer and i want to smell this fragrance on me then i'll just decant it because i mean with these notes it is what it is it's a summer fragrance it's a summer freshy type of fragrance although it's fruity but you know it's a fresh tart clean kind of fruity scent so it's definitely great for those hot days in the summertime um for outdoor activities in the summertime it's a beautiful scent and i'm so glad that i got the authentic one from sephora because this is the way that it should smell Marie l'imperatrice by dng next we have my summer gourmand caramel fragrance by sol de janeiro sol Chirosa. guys this is a beautiful caramel gourmand but a summer gourmand fragrance it's not too heavy this has pistachio and let me tell you the notes really quickly there's pistachio there's almond there's heliotrope there's jasmine caramel vanilla salt and sandalwood guys this is a very creamy nutty almondy gourmand fragrance that's not too heavy for the summer i would not wear this in the fall or the winter i got this fragrance last summer when it actually first came out but before then i was wearing the body spray guys the body spray is what got me hooked on this fragrance there's a bum bum cream that scent is literally addictive when i used to spray the body spray on me and lotion myself with the bum bum cream i used to just want to like lick myself it's such a beautiful scent it's a gourmand fragrance but a beautiful summer gourmand because for me i don't usually wear gourmand fragrances in the summer i do have some it's not a typical scent profile for me to wear gourmand in the summer i definitely wear gourmand mainly in the fall and the winter a few of them i have like i'll sneak in summer nights here and there because i want to smell that fragrance so i don't really wait until the fall and winter if i want to wear it in the summertime but definitely this is a summer gourmand that you can wear all day this is a daytime fragrance a nighttime fragrance definitely a sexy date night fragrance guys it's so beautiful next we have this fruity rose fragrance by lancome idol guys this fragrance the, the opening will get you as soon as you spray this fragrance the opening will draw you in because it's so fresh and fruity and sweet with that pear the pear is definitely the star of this show and then once it dries down it dries down to like a creamy rose and vanilla type of fragrance so the dry down is equally beautiful but definitely the opening is one of my favorite parts of this fragrance so there's bergamot there's juicy pear there's pink peppercorn there's rose jasmine white musk vanilla patchouli and cedarwood like i said guys it dries down creamy it's a beautiful alluring scent it's a feminine fragrance that can be worn day and night in the summer i can see you wearing this to brunch on a day cruise or like a sunset like evening dinner type of cruise it's a very pleasing enjoyable scent next we have this super sweet juicy fragrance by dolce and gabbana pineapple guys let me tell you this is a very sweet fresh juicy pineapple like if you were to taste the pineapple and spray this this is what the pineapple would smell like this is a true fresh and sweet pineapple it's so 
beautiful, guys. It's so, so beautiful. It gives you a happy and invigorating burst of pineapple realness, guys. It's so pretty. So it's pineapple. It opens up with pineapple. There's Sicilian mandarin, jasmine sandback, vanilla absolute, ambergris, orchid, and tobacco. So guys, let me tell you. This fragrance is an EDT. It's not an eau de parfum. It's an eau de toilette. It's feminine, it's flirty, it's happy, it's invigorating, it's uplifting, it's just a beautiful scent. If you want to smell like a sweet pina colada, then this is the one you need. This fragrance just elevates my mood. It's a happy pick-me-up. I'm so, so happy that I have this in my collection. It's not that cheap. It retails for $195, and you can only purchase it, from what I understand, at the Dolce & Gabbana Boutique. But if you can ever get your hands on it, guys, you definitely need to try this because... As soon as you smell it, you're gonna be like, oh, okay, now I see what she was talking about. Because like I said, it's so happy and uplifting and invigorating. And once you layer it with that coconut pineapple cream and smell like a pina colada, girl, can't nobody tell you nothing. Next, we have Omnia by Bulgari, and it is a limited edition. Guys, before we get into this fragrance, look at this bottle. Look how gorgeous this bottle is. It's such a gorgeous bottle. And this was designed by fashion designer Mary Kat Renzel. Guys, it's so beautiful. And the box that it came in was so florally and so pretty. So let me tell you the notes. It opens up with fig. There's fig leaf and that gives it that greenness. It is a little green in the opening. There's mandarin orange. There's gardenia orange blossom, white musk, and woods. Guys, this fragrance opens up a little bit green because it has that green fig note in the opening, but it's such a pretty scent. It's one of those fragrances that you can wear on a hot summer day. Definitely a hot summer day to feel fresh and just invigorating and cool and clean, but then it still has a little sweetness to it. You smell the orange blossom as well. It's a beautiful scent. I absolutely love it. It's citrusy, it's green, it's vibrant and uplifting. Now, although I said this fragrance was clean, it's more of a maximalist type of clean. It's not a minimalist clean, guys, because this fragrance is inspired by Mary's maximalist style. So if you like to be out there and be extra, but in the summertime when it's hot and still be cool and fresh and invigorating, then this is the fragrance for you. Next, we have one of my favorite angel flankers, and this is Angel Nova. Guys, this is such a beautiful scent. It's tart. It definitely has that angel DNA. I don't know how because the notes are different, but I can still smell the angel DNA very slightly in the background. Like, it's not prominent. It's very, very slight in the background. And I only know that because I've been wearing angel for years, so my nose can definitely pick up on that DNA of the original angel. The perfumer behind this fragrance is the same perfumer as Delina. Guys, this is a beautiful tart fragrance. I layer this with my raspberry uh, cream from the body shop, another limited edition. I don't know what's up with these limited editions, guys, but it's a limited edition cream. It's a raspberry cream. It's very fresh and tart. So if you have raspberry fragrances, you can layer with that cream. That cream with this fragrance, guys, this is giving me beast mode in about 10 to 12 hour performance because that cream definitely sticks to your skin. It's like a whipped consistency. With this layered on top of it, guys, it does not go anywhere. And on occasion, I've gotten compliments wearing this. So let me tell you the notes. It opens up with raspberry, there's lychee, damask rose, akigala wood, and benzoin. It's fruity. It's a little bit spicy even. It's tropical, it's warm, but it, this is a summer fragrance. So, you know, definitely a spring summer fragrance, not fall and winter for me, but it's a beautiful scent guys, Angel Nova. Next we have this La Vie Belle Flanker, Soleil Cristal. This is a coconut fragrance, but it's a coconut fragrance that doesn't smell too tropical. You smell the coconut, but to me, it's a different take on a coconut. Guys, this is a beautiful scent. Now, let me tell you something. I used to wear La Via Belle. Like, back in the day, I think I ran through two or three of those bottles, guys. I absolutely loved that fragrance. And then I just got tired of it. I was Like, I just wore it too much, and I wanted to explore new fragrances. So, I was, like, I vowed to never purchase any more La Via Belle fragrances, like, ever again. I ended up smelling this fragrance because I saw the bottle and I saw coconut. Once there's coconut in the fragrance, I just, that's like my kryptonite. I absolutely love coconut, especially for this type of year, spring, summertime. If I see a coconut note, I'm going to want to smell it. So I smelled it with no expectations. I was just like, what does a coconut La Vie Belle smell like? The thing is, La Vie Belle DNA is very strong. So you do smell it in this fragrance. But this is a beautiful scent. 
Let me tell you the notes. It opens up with mandarin orange, there's pink pepper, there's bergamot, ylang ylang, iris, orange blossom, and jasmine, coconut, vanilla, and patchouli. Guys, this was a love at first sniff for me. I smelled it and was like, wow, I'm literally buying Livia Bell again. Seriously, like, I cannot believe that I smelled this and just loved it that much. And let me tell you, if you're familiar with Livia Bell, you know that fragrance is a beast. Guys, this is no different. This is definitely a long lasting beast of a fragrance. And that made me love her even more. It's a very beautiful scent guys. And I'm so happy that I didn't overlook this because I'm just like, okay, I can't with another Livia Bell flanker, but the coconut got me and dragged me in and now I'm hooked. And I absolutely love this fragrance. Next we have the fragrance that let me know that a lavender note in fragrance can smell beautiful mixed with orange blossom and vanilla. Guys, this is a beautiful scent. This is the original YSL Lieb. I keep telling you guys that I have this huge bottle that I need to get through before I get the um, the flanker, which I may or may not get the flanker in the fall and winter because it is beautiful with the vanilla. But guys, for the spring and summer, this is a crisp lavender, orange blossom, and vanilla fragrance that can be worn in the summer days. This can actually be worn all year round. I think that this can be a signature scent because I've worn this in the fall and the winter and had no issues with it. The performance is moderate. You know, it's decent. I layer this with my Jo Malone Orange Blossom Cream and I'm getting about 8 to 10 hours on my skin, but you definitely have to over spray. Spray on your clothes because if you spray regular, this isn't going to give you that great of a performance and you definitely have to layer with this as well. So, but in the summertime, it's a beautiful summertime fragrance for like hot weather days or summer nights. It's a beautiful scent, guys. It's crisp. I love it. I definitely love it. That lavender note definitely takes it to a different place and makes it smell like exotic even. Especially for designer fragrance, it's definitely a different type of designer fragrance to me, guys. So YSL Libre. Next, we have this pretty tropical mango fragrance by Dolce & Gabbana, Shine. Guys, the downside with this fragrance for me is that the mango is not that sweet. It's not a sweet mango, and it doesn't last throughout the entire life of the fragrance. So what I did was layer this with my mango um, body yogurt from the body shop, and that sweetens it up and actually helps the mango to last a little bit longer on my skin. So there's mango, there's grapefruit, there's tuberose, there's jasmine, there's orange blossom, there's sea salt, there's white musk, there's white woods, and there's sandalwood. It's another feminine, girly fragrance. It's just a pretty fragrance that I wanted to add to my collection because it's another summertime fragrance that can be worn in the day. I probably wouldn't wear this at night. Yeah, knowing me, I definitely wouldn't wear this like summer nights, but it's a summer day fragrance that's beautiful if you want to, you know, run errands or just like run to the mall really quickly. Um, just anything that's like low maintenance that you're doing, but you still want to smell good and a little bit tropical and a little bit sweet, then this is the fragrance that you would pull for. Dolce & Gabbana Shine. So that's it guys, the streets is calling, so I need to wrap this video up. So leave it in the comments below and let me know what are some of your designer fragrances that you're excited to wear this summer. We're gonna talk about the niche fragrances. I'm gonna follow this video up definitely with my niche fragrances for this summer, but I had to get the designers out the way guys. And like I said, the streets is calling, so I gotta wrap this up. So let's talk about it in the comments below like we always do. Remember to stay safe, be great, stay great, and always strive for greatness. AI the Great signing out, but I'll see you in my next video. Peace.